right, guys, we're back at the house. Sorry, it's dark out now. And you can hear Daisy out here. Hey, Nestor. It's snowing out. So Daisy is out with Nestor. And she's not happy. Huh, baby girl? All right. So, here's what we got. Oh, look at her. She's so pretty. Hi, baby. We got a new Matthew <laughs> Falcon. <laughs> She's a little scared. We got a new baby goat. All the goats are saying, you got dad. All the girls are wondering what we got. Oh. Happy. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Oh, she's peeing. What do you think, girls? No, we actually went and got this new baby from the same farm where we got Magnolia, or not Magnolia. Marigold. Ma Marigold. And Daisy was outside. So this little baby was born in April. So she's about the same age as Marigold's kid Maggie and Daisy's kid Daffy right here. What you think, Daffy? We're not sure what we're gonna name her yet. She's a pretty girl, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, baby. Should I let her in? Okay. Oh, Reggie's checking them out. Reggie, here's your new friend. What you think? Coco is going to be the problem. She's Queen Bee. <laughs> Hot Coco. Queen Bee. Mama Nancy. There's Ruby. There's the other girls. Oh, there's Meg. Megs! Hi, Reggie. Hi. This is Reggie. Hi, Reggie. What you think, Reggie? Ready to go eat. Queen 
be Coco pushing everyone out of the way to get to the water. So we should figure out a better, oh, here's my mitten, set up for our water. Yeah. Because sure. what we have to do is this part right here gets froze. And we have to thaw it out with our handy dandy hair dryer. A little more a lot better. assertive. For a while there, he was letting everyone take advantage of him. Uh -huh. But now, he's gaining the size he can't compete. He's already bigger than Homer. Yeah. <laughs> Who? What is she doing? Oh, trying to get her? Fedora! Really? Fedora! <gasps> it's okay, honey. Fedora, you stop being a brat. Fedora thinks she's tough because she's got horns. Huh. <gasps> Hi, Daffy. Come here. All right, season there. How you doing, baby? These are the minerals we use. We get it from the local feed mill. So this is the mix. This is, they call it cocoa goat mineral, which is a mix designed specifically for our area. So it has calcium, phosphorus, salt, magnesium, potassium, sulfur, iodine, cobalt, copper, which is really important for this area. Iron, zinc, manganese, selenium, vitamin A, D, and E. And selenium is also important for this area. So what we do is just fill up their feeder here. And they have it free choice. Yeah, we ran out last week, so they're going to be eating quite a bit here. So they, they'll know when they need the minerals. They'll just come to the feeder and get some. Focus. There are the other two that are going to be competing for rank, so she'll she'll try to be a little bit slower than us because she doesn't have a mother here to look out for her a little bit, but I think you'll see her come around pretty quick. She'll be one of the herd in no time. I didn't realize how huge Fedora was looking right now. Fedora? Yeah. Is she big or just fluffy? I mean, I think it's mostly fluff, but she looks shiny on us. They all got their winter coat. Mm -hmm. Today's in the 20s, yep. mid 20s. Well, the mid 20s. Come on, get them out of there, baby girl. We've been lucky we haven't had much snow yet this winter. Yeah. Feed them to but them. it's 
it's been pretty cold the past couple days, but ho luckily no snow. What jacket are you wearing? She's wearing mommy's jacket because I put mommy's jacket on brother and she wouldn't come out unless she had one of mommy's jackets. Oh, <laughs> so we're spoiled what you're saying. Huh? Are you going to give the goats treats? Yes, I am. I'm going to give the goats you got those horse treats? This is what we get the goats treats. This is what we get. We get the alfalfa and molasses horse treats. Mm -hmm. So they do have some, a little bit of nutritional value. They have some uh, protein and some man. minerals in them. Yeah, it's like time, We're having a little. Yeah. Fucking orders there. They like those treats, don't they? So they do, they do make goat treats specifically for goats, but these are a little cheaper, a cheaper. than the goat treats. So they're a little bigger too, but they don't seem to have a problem with them. Have a problem. They chew them right up. Coco, don't bite my fingers. You bit your finger? Yeah. So these are our three Nubians right here. Three babies this year's. Oh yeah, three babies. These are all the babies here. So Maggie is the biggest. She's a big girl. Here, only one she baby. Was also a single. Yeah, she was a single, so she was born at eight pounds. Ah! Ah! Daffy! She bit my finger. Here. Ah! What's the matter, Mommy? Got you bundled up. Hi, buddy. Mm. Mommy got you all bundled up. Hi. So, honey, there's something else I have on the show. We do yeah. have. This one's talking about our German tank. Fedora. I think she's a little fluffy. The Nigerian. Mm. She got some belly too or two, but the Nigerians have more cashmere. cashmere, so they look a little fluffier, like little onyx over there. Looks fluffy. So, what are our options for our names? Well, we've been talking about couples. So far, we have Petunia, but the only downside with Petunia is Lily calls her Tuna, because she can't say Petunia. So we're kind of iffy about that. And the other option we're thinking is Cosmo. Just like the name. Um, I'm not really sure if you have any other options, but I mean, by all means, leave them in the comments and we'll definitely take them into consideration. So this is what she looks like. I'll give you a look again. So she is black with some white on her face and her white ears. And her belly is <laughs> white and her feet. So, if you have any suggestions or if you like those two names, just leave it in the comments. We do like to stick with the flower names for the Nubians, but well, we're open just to... For first, just for the, the founding dolls. Yeah. But she will be a founding doll because we're not, we didn't retain her. She came from an outside farm, so she would be considered a founding doe in our herd. But she did come from the same herd as Marigold and Daisy did too. So we're, we like the idea of Petunia because it is another flower. Um, but at the same time, we don't want to go with another D or another M because that's how we name the next generations of kids. So you know, we have Daisy, and then we have Daffy, and then we have we have Marigold, and then we have Maggie or Magnolia for long. And Daffy is actually Daffodil. So we did stick with the flower theme. Oh, hi, Reggie. Reggie does not count. He did not stick with the flower theme. Oh, and Reggie But he's also not a doll. Hi, Daffy. Oh, okay, Daffy. They're all scared. <laughs> Lily, don't scare him. So I, I, Say I hi to Reggie. Petunia, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to go with. Um, what do you think? What do you think, Petunia or Cosmo?
Huh? I'm more opportunity. Yeah. You think I'm just gonna want to be safe? Okay. Yeah. Hey. Lady, <laughs> where did you lady, her? Ladies, easy. <laughs> Reggie, go, go break this off. Reggie, you can be the referee. In here. That's your only purpose. Actually, you're more like bait, huh, buddy? Hey. Yeah. Reggie, like, you want to talk about me like that? Watch this. I'll bite your finger off. <laughs> Will he stop? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this up for the night. We're going to head inside and have some dinner. Uh, we'll come back out again tonight and check on her throughout the night to make sure that she's not getting hurt or, you know, packing orders not getting carried away or anything like that. But so far, she seems to be doing pretty well. She definitely wasn't the queen at her other herd. So she's doing pretty good at avoiding the other does and staying out of the way of anything that could be harmful to her. Wow.